Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manal. This is the vlog four of my Ramadan weekly vlogs. I hope you're doing all right, Ramadan Mubarak, if I haven't said it to you already. But if you're new to my page, make sure you subscribe and join the family. I do two vlogs a week. I'm gonna take you along with me to a very busy, very normal day. It's very normal, but I'm sure you'll love it. Let's go. I am so tired you know what it is it really takes a village because i have the help of my mother i have my staff here helping me package orders for tomorrow's big launch of the new collection for our prayer gowns that everyone's been waiting for for like months it always gets like this it always gets extremely st stressful and then there's like a calm like a c complete sereneness and I'm, I'm i'm at the peak of the stress as years go on every single year it's sort of the exact same like before a big launch b during ramadan like you know what i mean so I, I try to focus on making sure that i am using ramadan for what it is to create that rebalance in my life and to reground me to that calmness and bring me back to the reason why I love Ramadan so much. Although Ramadan is the most stressful time of the year for me, it's also the time of the year that I look forward to the most spiritually. So I have to kind of remind myself it is Ramadan now. Although it's incredibly busy for me, it also is a time where I need to reboot and like gather myself. Don't miss out on the incredible month. You know what I mean? I did something so you don't have to. I purchased from like five different Amazon shops, okay? I can link them all down below. But I don't really want to uh, link them all down below because none of them were good except for one and the cheapest one. My goal was what is the most perfect cushion filler, okay? Is it duck down? How do I get a, f a plumpy, nice pillow without it getting flat over time? So over time, feathers secrete oils that actually affect the fluffiness and density of a pillow and it loses that like cushiony touch so why do people go for duck filled pillows i don't understand i don't understand the concept i'm gonna change my cushions change my cushion fillings do some laundry make myself feel a little more better by doing my face and i have a massage book today so i'm gonna do that these are my favorite, my favorite cushion fillers. Hmm. It's cheap, it's cheerful. So I bought four of them. I'm in a layer four, right? And then I bought the 60 by 60 ones for non-sleeping decorative, you know. Uh, I got some microfiber zipper pillow protector. This is the brand, it's called Utopia Bedding. Now, I bought some of these for my sofa. They were excellent. I now have some of them for my guest room and for our bedroom. We have the 60 by 60s and then we have the standard pillows that are 50 by 70. We also have um, the mini narrow ones that are nice like 40 by 60 ones. You know, the small, cute, like rectangular ones. Really, really happy with these. They feel so good.
away with that blush. It's a beautiful blush. The Miracle Pure Infused Cream Blush. You just need a few drops. Not even, you just need like one drop of this. Just finished a very simple and quick look and I realized I actually have a massage today and my face is gonna be plastered on that little donut cushion. So my makeup is literally gonna be falling off. Have you ever come out of the shower and thought to yourself, I wish I smelled like laundry today. This is laundry in a perfume bottle. Oh my God, you smell so clean. You smell so nice, you smell like the most you smell like you, t you took a 10 hour shower in laundry detergent. What are you wearing? Blanche. Good morning. Can you come here? What's on your head? Were you leaning on something? <laughs> Oh my days, oh my days. What the? <laughs> Come on, let's go, go, go. What's wrong? Grumpy pants. Oh, can I get a hug? Do you want to go out? <laughs> hmm? Shall we go out? boxes we're gonna go take him to our seamstress and then where are we off to after that Home? are you sure so tomorrow I mentioned previously in the vlog that tomorrow we're actually launching the new collections for our Chinatown coat prayer gowns but we're doing like this beautiful sage color we have beautiful like buttery ivory color um another color that's amber hawa was reinvented so we have hawa's sister which is like hawa the second i guess or yeah it's essentially just a little more nudey brown version of our original bestseller which is hawa which has like a mauvey undertone it's stunning it still has a mauvey undertone but it's a little more brown do you remember our first campaign when we first launched the first collection there was Hawa for Dos in Asia, a black, an ivory, and like a nice like mauve color. The campaign shots for that, it was a bit more brownie than it came off in daylight. That's what the colors are like in real life now. So Hawa the second, which is like a beautiful like mauve nude brown color. And then we also have Dua, which is like a baby doll pink color. It's stunning. So I think you guys are really, really like this collection. And then I get to kind of like redesign the website maybe add a few of the new campaign photos in there but that's today's task sand i'm gonna call rosuana which is one of our team members her name is rosuana so i asked her to pick a color that i uh, that she'd like so i can name it after her so she picked the sand color the sage instantly when my mom saw the sage she was just like oh my god this is like my favorite one so immediately i'm like okay i'm definitely gonna call this color romla because that's my mom's name and she is my everything do i i just gave birth to my baby girl and the pink color is such a pretty pretty and pink color it's like feminine and, and beautiful and pretty what else the Ferdos the second we were initially gonna call it Ferdos 2 like we, how we're calling Hawa Hawa 2 but it's actually a completely different undertone like the original Ferdos is like more of like an ivory with a slight pink undertone this is more buttery like more of a, like a buttery warm undertone of ivory so I thought no let's give this a completely new name because I feel like it's a completely new gown color I think the amber is my favorite. It's so rich and beautiful. 
like oh, when the model put it on during our photo or our campaign shoot she had amber eyes and she was wearing the amber colored dress and i was just like no no this this is just too perfect like i'm gonna finish updating the website then i'm gonna pack some orders before the sun sets and that way by tomorrow i'm just like i'm just i'm just packing orders i'm not worrying about anything basically missing in this equation mm -hmm. downstairs you're fasting yeah it's a cheek it's not your lips is it i don't know the rules no, but i, I do. don't know i do that's allowed <laughs> so i get a lot of questions asking how i swaddle or carry my baby i'm gonna quickly show you how i do it it's super simple this one is just like a really long rectangular material that you can wrap around yourself and then you carry your baby i find it super convenient for like when I am doing mom things around the house, especially in the mornings. And I'm gonna go get one. This is my baby carrier. This one is from Solly Baby. I just opened it up in the pack. Um, it, like I said, it's just long piece of rectangular material. And what I like about this is that it's a really nice soft jersey material. In the middle of the whole wrap, there is a label, so it helps guide where you should start. You're gonna take the label and just wrap it around your waist and actually meet it with the back. Bring it around and over your shoulder blade, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is gather all of this material and bring it down. The smaller your baby is, the tighter you want this to be because you don't want them to kind of slide out. I know it kind of sounds kind of scary, but you should start by practicing doing this while you're on the ground, maybe on a rug, so that way you just feel more confident in carrying your baby or just like practicing how to carry your baby. Now, as my baby's growing, I tend to need more room, so um, I keep it a little looser. Once you have the two pieces back over your shoulder blades and then back here, you're gonna crisscross them and then meet them to the back as well, and then meet again here. I don't know if that made any sense, but I hope that made sense. Now, this part, you're gonna wanna tie it securely because if this unravels, the whole thing starts to loosen up and you don't want it to loosen up when you're carrying your baby. Right, this is pretty much how I do it. Why'd you carry her in like that? This is baby doo doo. Hi, baby doo doo. And then, so first thing you want to do is put doo doo through the X, right? So I like to gather this material up first. I'm going to bring her through here. You want to make sure you support their neck, especially if you're new to this and you're still getting used to it. All right, that's how it should look like an X. Hi, mama. <gasps> Oh, babe, I need a cloth. I'm sorry about that, folks. We had a little bit of a mess, but we're fine now. We're fine now. Okay, so this is how I do it. I make sure there's enough support. So you have the two materials crisscrossing under the bum area. Then you put their legs in between that label piece, kind of fish it out. And this works as an added support. You want to make sure it's crisscrossing over the neck so you have a good support and you want to make sure you're able to kiss their head without you even having to like bend too much right if you can't kiss their head like this then they are too low i hope you found this helpful this is how i wear baby doo doo and i'm not gonna lie when i first started wearing her i always had one hand supporting her the back of her neck now that she's getting a bit older i don't necessarily need to unless i'm bending forward and don't do it unless you're confident in carrying your baby because if you're not confident then you're likely to not carry her it's time it's a wrap it's time to go okay it's time to go Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs>